Jake up in Washington County is making life difficult for people. About 45 homes in Jackson are in a zone where it could be dangerous to use the water. Lacey Crisp is live in Jackson with this update. Lacey. Work out here where the spill was has pretty much wrapped up. Residents are now making that tough decision if they should leave their homes or stay and try to live without being able to use the water. The pipeline company has offered to pay for hotels for anyone inside the flush advisory. It's been a major inconvenience and it's been scary and we've all we are all concerned about our health. Judy Plures and her husband got a hotel for today just to be able to shower, but she says they are staying home to take care of her ill mother. The plumber is here today and the filter is being installed. She worries about the water she used before the flush advisory was issued yesterday. We've been drinking the water for two weeks. We weren't told not to drink the water. But just down the street, the Dizics are moving into a hotel for the time being. We were going to go to the hotel later tonight, but we didn't go right away because we kind of wanted to stay here and get our stuff together before we left. And for these residents who are in the flush zone who decide to go to a hotel, the Washington County Sheriff's Department has promised to step up patrols and make sure these homes are safe. It's difficult to live where you have no water, you can't drink, you can't take a shower, feel gross all the time. And the DNR is still waiting on some well tests to check for benzene levels. Now, the broken pipe has been sent out of state to be tested to find out exactly what caused it to break, but that could take months. On your side, live in the town of Jackson, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. In the meantime, the residents in limbo and certainly inconvenience. Thanks, Lacey.